So on a problem like this one, it says we got four sets of data. You got uh, data set A, B, C, and D. They've given us A and B values for all four and then the R values. Like I said, we don't really care about this other information right here. The only thing we're concerned about when we want to when we want to determine strength of relationship is the R values, which we see down here at the bottom. So if it's going to be considered strongest, then we need an R value that's going to be close. Got to be close to either one or negative one. So I would look down here at the bottom and I see uh, we, we always have zero point something on these. And it appears to me that set A, which has, I, I'm not even concerned about the hundreds, thousands, or ten thousands place value, you just see 0 0.9. And I don't really care that's negative either. So these ones are, there's positive, negative, negative. I don't care about not negative or positive. I just need something that's close to 1. 0 0.9 is definitely closer to 1 than 0 0.8, 0 0.6, or 0 0.7. So set A would be the strongest relationship. Whatever we're comparing. I don't even know what we're comparing on this. It doesn't matter. So which one's going to be the weakest? Well, if it's weak, then it has an R value that's going to be pretty close or the closest. Pretty close to zero. So I look down here, and I, I pretty much am looking for the smallest value overall. I'm, I'm not looking for negatives or positives, right? So I, I look down here, and I see... Well, we got a 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0 0.7. I don't care about the negatives, but 0.6 is the winner because it's it's the lowest number right there in the tenth place value. So it appears that data set C would be the weakest relationship between your X's and Y's. That's it.